Warning. Channel Robazoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. Tease ...that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Are Blue, isn't appropriate for students to read. What, what is are, What a tragic story. Um, in what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Boy, did Joyless Reed get her lady balls handed to her in a very small sack. She got owned. What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, coming at you with another video. And this one, this has been talked about a lot by others, but I never got the chance to speak about it here. And this, of course, is... Uh, more stupid nonsense by communists, uh, Joyless Reed, who, quite frankly, made an absolute ass of herself against this uh, particular mom for justice, who actually was talking about the sex books that are being read in schools today, particularly one called Boys Are Blue. And, well, <laughs> here's how a lot of this went down. I don't have time to play at all, but I will play as much of this as I possibly can and give you the rundown of the whole thing. This is the question again. The books that are being banned, I wanna give you just no, a hold, hold on a second. Well, no, Joy, yeah. but I wanna be clear. Uh -huh. No one's banning books. Write the book, print the book, publish the book, put the I book thought the in left a banned public the books. library, sell the book, right? Uh, we're talking about a public school library. Children don't have unfettered access to the internet at school. Mm -hmm. I did a, a FOIA records request, and, and, and I wanted to see... shouldn't even have unfettered access to the internet at home. Banned in schools, if we're gonna talk about banning, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the subject matter in the books that moms are concerned about are the same things that kids don't have access to. But here's internet. where we really get into so the meat and taties of the whole thing. Right? No, why is no one out there protesting for, you know, free the internet in schools? <laughs> let, me, let me give you an example of some of the books that have been removed from shelves as a result of the activities of organizations like Moms for Liberty. Not, we're not going to talk like Moms for Liberty. We're going to talk specifically and Moms, moms for, Liberty. for Liberty. Absolutely. All right, we're going to play the blame game, I guess. With you, Absolutely. But we're going to be specific about Absolutely. the actions of Moms for Liberty. Chapters. Oh, 100 percent. Because I can't that. be possibly yeah. responsible for every sure. single parent but in America. But your organization right? is the lead. The, you're the leading organization that's doing this. You have chapters all over the country. And other organizations are following your lead. And PEN America has listed, they have posted, the list of books that have been removed. So that's just the niceties now between uh, Joyless Reed and Bridget Ziegler of the Liberty Moms for Justice. And, well, <laughs> Ziegler, ooh. She's not related to that other Ziegler chick, Rachel Ziegler, right? She's not? Good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Well, anyway, this is the part where it gets more and more confrontational, um, in which... Uh, she really goes after Joyless Reed for Joyless's thinking that it's okay to showcase these sexual books uh, in uh, school libraries to children. And we're talking about prepubescent children. Hell, we're talking about children as young as four here. And of course, Joyless Reed, being the joyless bitch that she is, thinks this is just fine. Take a look at this. Why doesn't a liberal parent, for instance, or a parent of an LGBTQ kid, why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book? Why is it your right to say they can't? So, again, we're talking about incest, rape, and pedophilia. And well, each parent, no, 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 no. Each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer. I'm going to ask so you one more time. Right. What is your What do you right care? As far as you're concerned, the teacher should be the one to decide. Isn't that right, Joyless? Why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say, my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have either been raped by a family member, they, they, they've they experienced um, And your proof of that is what? You just said that What's the child feels that? seen by this story. They, so they, they, what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, saying, no. Joy, You're now making assumptions no, about it. Joy, no, no, but if a child give you has a, been raped, we should do a lot better than put a book now, on a You invited her on as a courtesy, so why the hell do you keep interrupting her, Joyless Reed? You with your a pro white, white woman appropriated hairdo. I mean, seriously. I mean, what's wrong with you? You're a mental case. You truly are. You're a nut job, a psychopath, 
and you're on the wrong network, <clears throat> why don't you go over to Fix News, where all the neocons are, and more and more libs are. I mean, nobody watches MSNBC anyway. Did anybody Why watch this interview? The story behind yeah. a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. This is a form that can be obtained in Broward County, Florida. Okay. I'm going to show it to the audience, and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay. This is called can the opt-out. Yeah, thing? please, I'm going to hand it to you. you so it's called the opt-out form. Okay. An opt-out form would allow any parent, because you said you are in favor of parental rights. If I were her, I'd probably just rip the paper up right in front of Joyless. Their child being able to take books out of the library without their parents' permission. Okay. So that moms for liberty, why not advocate that every school in America have an opt-out form so that a parent who doesn't want their child to access a book like All Boys Are Blue, right. that they can make that choice because then each parent, including a liberal parent, a black parent, a parent who wants their child to read. Right. The book is called All, All Boys Are Blue, which you know what that means. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> And you think kids learning about this is perfectly acceptable. Let me ask you something, Joyless Reed. Are you a friggin' lunatic or something? Because quite frankly, uh, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're, a, if you're a straight or gay. I mean, you look lesbo to me. I mean, you put on the butch white woman's hairdo. So quite frankly, I think as I'd stated already in a previous video, that you're already appropriating uh, white women's hair. I mean, geez, you look like a black Tasha Yar. Oh, what I would love to call Joyless Reed, but I can't do it here because YouTube will probably strike me again. And if they do, I'm out for good. But uh, let's face it, that's exactly what, what Joyless Reed is. She is one of those. I won't say the exact word, but all I can say is that the word, it ends in the word boo. Yeah, she is a boo. And quite frankly, who the hell is she to appropriate, to appropriate white ladies' hair? I mean, is it just me, or does she seem to have... Right, she looks like a, a black version of Tasha Yar with that crop of blonde hair on her head, which only leads me to ask another Star Trek-based question. Tell me something, Joyless. Is that a tribble on your head, or are you just happy to see me? Incidentally, do you remember what Laverne Burton, oh, excuse me, LeVar Burton had to say a, a few months ago about these Moms for Justice? Do you remember this clip? Any Moms for Liberty in the house? Moms for Liberty? No? Good. Then... Hands will not need to be thrown tonight. Besides of which, this mama bear here, she looks like she could beat the ever-loving shit out of Laverne Burton. So who the hell is he to talk? He wore a banana clip on his face for seven years. I rest my case. Yeah, somebody ought to smack the shit out of Laverne Burton. Because, let's face it, this guy is the reading rainbow banana clip faced moron that he always was. People say, oh, I'd like to meet him. He sounds like such a nice, easygoing guy. No, he's an asshole. I mean, believe me when you see clips like that. LeVar Burton is an asshole. I suppose having a banana clip over your face for seven years and then wearing implants in your eyes for the movies. Yeah. That'll kind of make you the biggest, the biggest dick in the entire galaxy. So, there you go. But, of course, we have to have more of the idiot Joyless Reed and, of course, this wonderful co-founder of Moms for Liberty. Okay, so let's roll the last part of this before we get to some more adversarial stuff. Kids. So they have parental rights. Every parent, Joy, them, every parent means every parent has the fundamental right to direct the upbringing of their children. And liberal parents? Do uh, liberal parents have those rights as well? All parents. Not so, so particularly. So liberals shouldn't have kids. Because the question becomes then who gets to decide what all kids get to read? 
The Washington Post took a look at the uh, uh, about a thousand plus book challenges that were filed, and they found that they were filed nationwide by just 11 people. Each of these people brought 10 or more challenges against books in their school district. Together, these serial filers constituted 6% of all book challengers, but they were responsible for 60% of filings in Florida. Tampa Bay Times, they found that of uh, roughly 1,100 complaints recorded in Florida since July 2022, we're talking about more than 700 just from two counties. Counties, Escambia in the Western Panhandle and Clay County. Together, those are less than 3% of the public. By the way, is it just my imagination or does Joyless Reed sound like she's sniffing something? Because she seems to end every sentence with a sniff like that. I mean, what did she get a hold of some cocaine or something before the interview? Mm, not a judgment, just wondering. Keep in mind that Joyless Reed is the same kind of imbecile. Who doesn't even want your children reading Huck Finn or Dr. Seuss? But apparently sex books are all right. That's acceptable with her. You piece of awful you. She, she liked to say the word dildo, dildo and said that a lot. Um, but th the fact is, George M. Johnson, uh, this is a book about George M. Johnson. Some of these books are, are autobiographical, some of them are not. Some of the key books that have been banned, Lori Hall's Anderson's Speak. Um, Perks of Being a Wallflower yes. by Stephen Jabosky. She didn't like to say the word dildo. She was using the word as an example, you bald-headed schmuck, you. My kids read They have similar themes in them. Some of them are sexual, some of them are not. But they are experiential. They're real books. And kids see themselves in these books. Just to, it's That is one mama bear. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is one mama bear I would not want to F with. And quite frankly, I don't think that Laverne Burton should either. Just stick to what you know. Reading Rainbow, Kunta Kente, Star Trek The Next Generation, and get the hell out of my face. That's all I got to say to LeVar Burton. In any case, well, you can see, obviously, that Bridget Ziegler is very much in the right here. And obviously, Joy Reed, then Joyless Reed, she's in the wrong. She doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. And I don't know whether this woman is straight or gay. I don't really care, frankly. I mean, with that butch blonde hairdo of hers, I'm convinced she is. But let's be honest here. Why are these people on PMS NBC so, so screwed up? What's wrong with these people? I mean, what kind of drugs have they been taking? You know how I've said that politicians need to be drug tested? Well, I think that news anchors should be drug tested, too. Not just, in, yeah, not just the more stupid nonsense by chicks people, but I think also the Crescent News Network anchors and definitely those fixed news people. They absolutely need to be drug tested. What did I tell you in a previous video? That fixed news has become the Crescent News Network of 25 years ago. I mean, all three of them are no different. Well, four if you want to throw C-SPAN in, but who the hell's watching that anymore? Nevertheless, this is the whole case and nothing but the case that Joyless Reed is showing these graphic images uh, in this book called uh, Boys Are Blue. And, well, I can't show you very much of it here at all because it's too graphic. And apparently YouTube has a strong stance against minutity in uh, being showcased. So we'll just leave it at that. And I'll also just leave it at this. If you enjoyed this video, and you better have, then smash that like button. And also remember to subscribe to this channel. If you are still subscribed, you better make sure you still are. You know how YouTube is with the uh, algorithms and everything. Also, of course, remember that wokeness is weakness. Obviously, Bridget Ziegler gets that. Joyless Reed does not. And remember, of course, we need to have the power of the people back not the power to the politicians, and definitely not any power to the journalists. And also, of course, remember, if you are a fan of rock and roll, which I know you are, otherwise you wouldn't be bothering with this channel, we need to have the power to the music in the streets, and that is the music of our voices in Uprise and Revolt against child porn and idiots like Joyless Reed. Peace! And definitely power to Moms for Liberty.